Hi everybody, just having a quick catch up. I hope you're all doing okay. Just very quick, several things. <clears throat> I've been marking up um, a new Bible because my Bible's falling apart. I've got another one, but I'm just uh, just marking up another one. Spurgeon used to say, if your Bible's falling apart, your life usually isn't. I'm not sure I completely agree with that in my own case, but there you go. Self-effacing. A uh, couple of things I want to catch up with you on. A <clears throat> couple of things I want to pray for. A uh, lady in our church, her daughter, uh, I'm not going to say the name, uh, would like us to pray for her. Um, somebody called Maureen, I'm not saying the connection, but Maureen, we're going to pray for Maureen. And Ray Hunter has been witnessing to some people, particularly one particular guy where he lives. And uh, let's pray that God moves in that gentleman's life. Maybe some of you are sharing your faith right at this moment. <clears throat> um, that'd be a good thing. Just from reading, um, maybe the next few days we can do some devotionals on Proverbs 15 and 16, because I just happen to be marking up in my green bible 15 and 16 still got a long way to go but let's be honest i've got the time so we're not going to be in too much of a rush are we the next few weeks um but we're going to speak with the spirit of faith like paul tells us to do in corinthians so just one verse a gentle answer turns away wrath but a harsh word stirs up anger. This is what the Passion Translation says. Respond gently when you are confronted and you'll diffuse the rage of another. Responding with sharp cutting words will only make it worse. Don't you know that being angry can ruin the testimony of even the wisest of men? Wow. Respond gently when you are confronted. A gentle answer turns away wrath. If ever there was going to be a time that you needed to heed this advice, that I needed to heed this advice, and I've been tested on this today. Something happened with my dad, uh, and I've been tested on it. And for once, I was a good boy, and I didn't rise. <clears throat> I tried to behave gently. If ever there was going to be a time that this needed to apply, it's going to apply now. Think about this logically and carefully. The next few weeks, we're all going to be cooped up together in our families not in church but you're going to be cooped up with your kids you're going to be cooped up in your life you're going to be cooped up with the husband or the wife and all those things you're going to be cooped up um crotchetiness isn't that a good word crotchetiness it may not be a real word but we're going to use it crotchetiness will crotchetiness will be what rife crotchetiness will be rife um tempers may be up and down because you know you're living with him he's living with her you're in each other's space the kids are doing all the stuff they're doing you want to pull your hair out and all those things and grumpiness can get riled proverbs 15 1 a gentle answer turns away wrath respond gently when you are confronted so <clears throat> next few days if i'm feeling a bit cooped in and my Husband says something and I want to react. Or my wife says something and I want to shout. Gentle answer turns away wrath. Respond gently when we are confronted. Uh, if you can feel yourself getting annoyed, if you can feel the veins in your neck and in your head starting to stick out, starting to bulge, that's a good one, it bulge, bulging veins, remember this. Gentle answer turns away wrath. Gentle answer, diffuse the situations. Be gentle with one another, love one another. I'm getting so tongue-tied when I do this. Face for radio, I don't know. There we go. Gentle answer, love one another, care for one another. Keep treating each other well and keep doing what we're told to do. God bless you. See you soon.